hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today we are going to talk about small spaces arrangement ideas please keep watching So guys, first things first, you're going to talk about color and trust me, if you're going to live in a small bedsitter house, you have to keep off dark colors. Please go with light, light colors such as white, could be light blue, not a mask that you just use white only or light blue only, all other light colors and you can always blend them in with some other good colors you love. For example, I chose to go with black and orange and in my opinion, it's really working for me. Another thing you're going to do is get rid of all the things that you do not need. Kindly, it's not a must that you have a table when you're in a bedsitter house. When you are in a small house, I chose to stay without a table and I have alternatives to use. So please, 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 if you feel like a table will make your space feel suffocated, kindly avoid tables in a small house or a less spacious house. Also guys, I'll choose one big wall art and one big mirror instead of numerous pictures on my wall. I feel like they come really, really handy. Mirrors create more space and gives an optical illusion of a spacious house. So a big wall art and a big mirror is a yes in small houses. One big truth is that a bed is a big part of a bedsitter house. <laughs> I know that's funny, but that's the truth. So guys, um, the color of your beddings will matter a lot in that case. So try to choose a very uh, light, colored, light color scheme on your bed so that you can make the house uh, spacious because a bed will take a big, big, big part of your bed sitter house okay also guys please try and keep everything together um if you have makeup please make sure that all your one type of makeup is at one place all your body oils at one place all your face oils at one place all your wrist watches at one place everything you need should be in one place that you recognize in the house to avoid so many like uh, disorganizations in the house you know when you are disorganized in a small house when you're looking for something it will make you like look turn the whole house upside down just to look for your body oil <laughs> so it's always good when things are packed up together even in the kitchen make sure your cereals are together all together your spoons are all together at one place guys 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 this one i'll have to beg you in the name of jesus christ avoid placing stuff under your bed sandals shoes basins that dirty clothes please 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 leave your bed as empty as you bought it just try and find another place to put your stuff please don't put your stuff under your bed i beg you in the name of jesus christ if you can hear me kindly 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 it will save you a lot of shame hi guys i'm editing my video i'm about to upload it and i said i should just um stop right here and talk to you guys before i upload it so this video was meant for people who are looking for ideas um, to make their small apartments look special or how to arrange their small apartments you all by now should have already watched my most popular video my bed sitter house tour already although it's not so clear so i'm planning to remake that video actually but meanwhile you can go check it out if you've not yet check it checked it out so i stay in a very small apartment um in kenya they are called bed sitters 
uh, abroad i think they call them studio something so i decided to just make this video to be able to inspire someone out there that even though you are staying in a smaller apartment you can be able to arrange it appropriately and stay in it uh comfortably as long as you like have a few ideas to on the on how you can arrange it actually small spaces can be very comfortable and can be very cute if you just take your time invest just a little bit they don't need a big investment since you can always forego so many things in them so yeah i hope this video has um taught someone something and if you know from deep inside your heart that you've loved this video please kindly kindly give this video a thumbs up that's if you've liked it and um, also i would say that uh, if you have something to teach me or you think i've not mentioned something i also need those ideas because we are learning from each other so feel free to comment in the comment section below tell me something tell me what you've uh, learned in the video tell me what you think you're gonna change in your house um let me know what to do uh in my house you can suggest i do something if i find it um reasonable or i find it helpful to me i'll surely have to do it uh this video does not only like inspire people who live in small spaces you may have seen an idea which could help you in your big house so feel free also to comment something feel free to give it a like if you like it and i think guys um until next time let me see you in my next video i love you